Squid is usually cut for use in nigiri type of sushi, but it can also be eaten as sashimi. It's often quite expensive to purchase and is best to consume fresh during the winter or the beginning of spring. Some restaurants in Japan serve fresh whole squid in live sashimi style as a part of their presentation. But there are also other ways to enjoy squid, such as having it grilled, sauteed, or simmered. Although some recipes don't even require you to break down the whole body, understanding the structure and how to separate into body parts helps you to brush up the quality and enrich your repertoire and presentation style. There are several different types of squid, but the basic procedure to break down is almost the same, so you can learn from this lecture and apply to your work. Place the squid on a cutting board. First of all, separate the legs from the body. Insert your fingertip as deeply as possible in the gap just above the head. You will feel the tissue connection between the inner body skin and the entrails. Slide your finger to gently separate it. Then hold the body and pull the legs to slide out the entrails. In this way, you can take out the entrails without breaking them. Peeling from the head end, remove the outside skin. If it is a small squid, the ears also get removed at the same time. If they stay on the body, you can pull them off individually. Cut open the body and remove the leftover of entrails. Take out the plastic-like cuddle bone. Sometimes it is bigger and harder, but they have the same structure. Rinse it and clean up. Prep the legs. First of all, separate the legs from the entrails. Make slits around the eyeballs to remove them. Slice open the upper end and remove the beak. Suction cups are hard to chew, so scrub the tentacles to take them off. You will find a squid ink bag in the entrails. Be cautious not to accidentally cut open during the preparation process. The ink stains the cutting board and extremely hard to wash out. Gently remove it and save it to be used for another menu with squid ink. Back to the body. Cut the edge to shape it.
make a decorative cut on the surface. Squid has some risk of parasite, and a decorative cut helps you to kill them. But more than that, because its tissue structure is so firm, giving little cut on the surface helps the inner flavor to be extracted in your mouth. Place the body with the decorative cut coming downward, and slice into pieces. Also, lightly parboiling is a great idea to increase the inherent sweetness. Place a piece of kitchen towel on a squid and pour boiled water. Then cool it down in ice water immediately. Make it into sushi. Or sashimi. The legs can also be a sushi item, both as raw and as boiled. 